Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Let's Design Banish. My name is Toaster, and this is our town of Patagonia, where a lot of things needs to needs to happen. And I was just looking off camera real quick. Uh, I forgot that, well, yeah, we have no, no traders here. Uh, we basically have no laborers, we only have one, which is really dangerous in our current position. And uh, it appears that all the rest of the professions are being uh, fulfilled, but... Um, yeah, we're lacking traders and vendors. Not that we really need traders at this point, but um, I would like to sort of solve that if, if I can. So in this episode, I'm, I'm gonna try to rearrange some of the, uh, the, the tasks that people are doing. Uh, and uh, since we're doing pretty good on food, maybe we can cut down on farmers and uh, at least five of them so we can assign them to other things. And uh, let me take a look real quick at our housing situation. Uh, we have uh, families, 94 families and 94 homes. Okay, we're perfect there. Uh, even though there's a lot of people living in boarding houses for some reason. Uh, which means that I might want to start, you know, getting some more houses here and there. I think it will be helpful. And uh, you know what? Let's just queue up some houses around the market. Because I think it will make sense. It's has, you know, a lot of uh, good uh, supply of, of goods so far. So this is too, so it has to be there, if I'm not mistaken. Let's pull up another one here and another one here. So three by three should be okay. And we're going to start expanding, I guess, towards this side. I'm, 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 I haven't made up my mind yet about that. But uh, hopefully, hopefully things will shape up nicely. I was also looking at this uh, stockpiles here that are completely full with coal and iron. And even though these guys are still producing, they're just like getting this stuff on the ground. So I was thinking of maybe adding another stockpile, even if it's a small one, just maybe here. Actually, yeah, there's no room for any of this. Unless I just do mini stockpile here. Yeah. It's just temporary. Eventually, we're gonna replace it with something else, and we can have another one here too. That actually makes makes this whole corner look really nice. Oh, we're maxing out food again. Yeah, no, we want all the foods. We want thirty-five thousand food. Hopefully, that would that would help us. Uh, we need to assign uh, some builders. I forgot about that. There we go. Perfect. So the houses are being built, which is great. Uh, just slowly, let me let me speed things up a bit. Just so you know, guys, um, this is the first uh, of a series of episodes that, that are going to be pre-recorded in one sitting, or at least two sittings. So um, all the comments and suggestions, if I miss something out, just don't freak out, because I, like I said on on, on my SimCity videos and on uh, the Minecraft video that was released a couple days ago. I'm I'm traveling away for a whole month, so I need to pre-record a bunch of episodes just to keep uh, my my current uh, weekly schedules, and that also applies to this uh, game of Banish that I'm playing right now. So uh, I will still be answering comments and and whatnot, but I, I can't really record this game uh, while on the road. So um, yeah, I'm pre-recording. I'm I'm gonna say about five or six episodes, which is a lot. Uh, so. Your comments and suggestions will be applied uh, maybe in the next episode. Um, I magically, maybe I'll, I'll do whatever it is that you suggested. Uh, but uh, most uh, most likely that will happen uh, early June, I would say. Which is when, when I come back and I will return to my, you know, recording normal recording schedule, which is usually a week in advance for, for the episodes. So yeah. So one of the houses is complete. The other house is also just... Just finished uh, construction. We have a lot of uh, roads that, that that need attention. Wow, we we're like down on one labor, and uh, we have a trader here at the post. Uh, not this one. Well, there's there's the one for that one. Squash sheets. We don't need that. And I uh, hope you bring something cool. Oops, I did not want to do that. And uh, I was thinking of. Since we have uh, we have a lot of uh, firewood and food, uh, we have some herbs. Uh, what I think we need in this corner is actually a hospital, because um, otherwise it's, it's too far away from from this center, and uh, we also have one hospital here, so it, it makes sense to wow. Okay, okay, okay. 
we need to cut down on farmers again because we need some laborers. It's kind of important. So like I was saying, uh, hospital, this corner, I think it will, it will be a good addition and uh, we can actually complete this with another house. And if I, my calculations are correct, we're going to have a one tile gap, which is also very good. So that means we can fit something else in there or just a little dirt road just to complete the whole block. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. How's, how's this doing? We can also cut on, on foresters because we have plenty of logs and, uh, but no, I think, I think we should be fine for now. Are these guys using this stuff? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Even though they still get the, their stuff right next to the mine, I think it's just a matter of time. Oh, this this stockpile is also going down. It's not it's not anymore 100% full. It's only 82 and 87% full, respectively. Something that I didn't do in the previous episode was, uh, you know, was be, being able to split the chicken. So I think I'm gonna try that right now. I have some ideas on how to achieve such things. So we have. This pasture here, let me pin it so it, the window doesn't close. And come here, and we can hit split. And hopefully, chickens will arrive to this new location, and uh, thus increasing our our production of eggs and 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 chicken, of course. And uh, I was also suggested by one of the users to always, and, and this was from not the lightest video, but like an older one of always keeping an empty pen. So I think I'm gonna do that too, just keep an empty pen somewhere, just in case we get some infestation or something. It might not be the worst idea in the world to have it. So let's see, where can we queue that up? I mean, we can, this could be animal row actually. So we can have another pen over here. And uh, yeah, you know what, let's try, let's give, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Uh, so pasture, there we go. Kind of want to make it the same size. So this one is 14 by nine. Let's do it 14 by nine. 14 by nine, there we go. It's kind of an arbitrary uh, measure, but uh, it, it, will, it will work, hopefully. So right there, there we go. So people will come in and clear up the trees. Also, I want to address something. Uh, the Forster Lodge are not cutting down the orchards. I think we, we have this discussion a couple episodes ago, but some people are still mentioning that, uh, yeah, your foresters are cutting down your orchards. No, these are actually farmers. If I stop here and click, it's farmer. This woman just cut down one of the trees. And I think it's just the harvesting process is just, you know, cutting down trees. It just doesn't really make that much sense. But that's just how the game works. And now we have a hospital. So we can assign another physician, and even though we have like zero laborers for some reason, are people, are people dying? What, what is happening? Let's cut down on farmers. We're really short on farmers now, but have one physician, six laborers. We need at least two builders to move things along here. We have another house being queued up at the moment. Let's see. Let's check out on the boarding house. Yeah, boarding house is empty, and now we have more houses than families, so maybe that will help. Uh, homes 98, families 88. Yeah, and, and, and people will start creating new families, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, fuel limit, you're gonna go to 6,500, there we go. Never stop creating firewood. What are you bringing, iron and firewood? No, you're bringing food, this is what I have. This is what you're offering, just food. No, it's okay, we have plenty of food for now. Should be okay. Uh, there's no traders there, and uh, we also don't have any trading uh, traders assigned to those jobs. But uh, it's okay. We don't really need help from the outside world at this point. And our pen is complete, even though we don't have uh, workers assigned, and we won't have one. This is just a safeguard for uh, when uh, infestation strikes in one of our other uh, pens. And as, as we enter into late winter, what I'm gonna do right now is actually collect some of this iron that's just laying there. Let me see, is this the end of the map? Oh yeah, we're almost right up to, oh yeah, I don't wanna, I wanna collect that, otherwise it will go into a death march, 
go around this. Actually, I don't think they can. Oh yeah, they can connect through here. But yeah, it will be it will be bad for them to to do that. I'm gonna also get some some of the stone that we have here. And do we have iron as well? I think we do. Yes, we do. All right. So collect all the stone. Can't see if there's really any more resources. We have only three laborers though, which might not be the best. But uh, we need to wait for some labor uh, labor boom, uh, if, if 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 I will. Um, because uh, I don't know what what what's up with the. Let me check the schools. I think schools might have been full. Yeah, schools are. This school is full. What, what about this one? This one is almost full. We definitely need another school. So I'm gonna queue that up real quick around this uh, new town center and uh, school over here. Let's see where can we put it. That would make sense. Have another trader. Uh, we can leave one gap there and put it here. Perfect actually two gap here, which means that we can have trees, especially because it's within the range of the Forester's Lodge, which is amazing. And let's take a look at what the trader is bringing, steel tools and coal. I don't think so, buddy. We have plenty of that for now. Uh, people keep pointing out that I should like not trade firewood and just trade iron and wood because we have plenty of those. I mean, it, at this point, it doesn't really matter because we already have 6,000 and um, it's just I need to like change all the settings and I'm just lazy. But it, firewood is it's it's very easily to come by um, than iron and, and and coal. Even though we have an excess of everything at this point, but uh, in the early game I think I think that's what I usually do. Just simply because it's you know like I said easier to come by. Yeah, like I said, this is a dead end. So all these excess excess stone is not really worth anything at this point and we can easily make a better use for for that in our in our you know in our resource uh counters <laughs> and resource uh yeah stockpiles and uh to that point i was thinking maybe it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world oh we're actually maxed out and I keep sidetracking all the time 7500 should be enough uh what i was saying is maybe it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world to convert uh this uh wooden houses into stone so let's do that real quick. Actually, let's take a look at our home situations. We have 98 homes, 89 families. Okay, yeah, we're in good shape to start upgrading some of these houses. I'm, I'm just gonna do like a few at a time. So all these people will have somewhere they, they can go to live. And now we need uh, so many builders. In terms of food, we're doing okay, even though we have 15 farmers. Uh, less uh, the other professions are actually you know what let's bring down the fisherman to maybe 20 actually 22 so it's 10 less and try to increase our farmer count to 40 maybe and our builders to six so that hopefully will help with uh, you know speed things up uh, there's a lot of food here I mean, we can buy some food, but we need to assign a trader, and we really have the resources for that just yet. But uh, hopefully, this will do the trick. Actually, we might want to get rid of these um, stockpiles. So you know what? Let, let me do that just right now. There we go. So now this Forester Sodge can actually plant some trees, in, and this corner is going to look amazing. It's going to look pretty, pretty good. And the only three laborers that uh, that are not doing anything. Well, actually, more than that, because there's a lot of people coming in to uh, remove all this iron from the ground. Uh, but um, yeah, I think uh, this task is almost done. As you can see here, they basically cleared out all these spots. Even though there's still a lot of stone that needs to be picked up from here, and uh, hopefully they're bringing it to the closed location, which is I think is this stockpile right here. And I also assigned a few more builders and de assigned some farmers because we're doing okay in food, even though it's dropping a bit too fast for my my comfort, if you if if you if you if you will. Uh, maybe we can cut down on, on the miners because honestly, we don't need that many at this point. So, farmers, you all gonna be farmers now, guys. Okay, we're maxed out of farmers. We have one labor. Uh, this is kind of sketchy. Uh, let's bring down the miner count to five. So we have seven laborers, at least, uh, just to replace. Especially the teacher, I think, is the most critical piece because uh, 
that's uh, the person that if, if that person dies and there's no one to replace them it will just release all the students and become uneducated laborers which is not what we want i mean it's not the worst thing in the world but it's still not the best and as you can see here we have already three houses that are being dismantled four and five yeah almost done so hopefully this will be turned into stone houses really quickly and we have some resources here so they can grab stuff from there. I feel like this road might might be better off as stone road. I feel like a lot of people are walking through this area. And uh, how's the construction of our school? All right, the construction of the school is underway. It's almost done actually, so we need to assign another teacher just in advance. And uh, come on, hurry up, hurry up. There we go, perfect. Teacher has been assigned. And uh, let's uh, maybe connect this like that. And uh, well, in terms of houses, I think we're doing all right. We need to re-upgrade these things. Do we have people in the boarding house? No, we don't. Basically, people moved into other into the other residences around the town. So we have 93 homes and 95 families. Things are doing all right. Food is dropping uh, from our 30,000 mark. We still have a bit of a buffer here, so I'm not too worried about, but uh, I would like to have more laborers and uh, basically assign more more gatherers and, and fishermen and, and that will bring our food count back to normal. But we just need to wait for more people to be... For more people to have kids and become laborers and become educated laborers in particular because, yeah. So we have 19 students there and uh, we have two students here. So system is working. We have zero patients here. Zero patients. We have zero patients for patients. Patients? Uh, never mind. Uh, what are you bringing? A bunch of seeds. Uh, we already have all the seeds. I wonder, it would be nice if, if the game will tell you like which of the seeds they... Uh, actually, no, we missed one. I should not cancel that trader, huh? What about this one? Oh, never mind. Uh, I, I wish the... Uh, what I was saying is I wish the game will tell you which ones are planted or not. I don't know if it does. Production... My name... Chestnut... Oh, this sort of tells you, actually. Corn? What about corn? Do we have corn? We have corn. But no, we don't have corn farms. Interesting. Apple, plums, pecan, squash, pumpkin, pepper, cabbage, bean. And uh, over here we have bean again. So maybe we can change this to uh, corn. Why not? Uh, potatoes and cabbage. We can change this one to uh, wheat or wheat. Pecans, peach, cherry, plums. Oh, this is peach. Uh, yeah, cherry, plums, and apples. Yeah, I think we're, we're okay. And this one is plums, and this one is cabbage. Is there any one of these that we haven't done yet? No, let's just do cabbage. It's, it's not too bad. We have plenty of farmers now. Uh, we have a lot of laborers, so we can start uh, assigning other tasks. Like uh, fishermen, maybe 24. Two more. One more hunter, because we need the leather for clothing. I think that's important. Forster, we want to keep things... Nice and pretty, full of trees. And maybe it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world to actually queue up a few more houses. So if we do one here, we have perfect spacing for one more over there. All right. And uh, back here, uh, I feel like... Do we want to have a street here? I don't think so, because oh, people should not be walking around here. Why are you not working, dude? Stop it, stop it. What are you? You are a forester. You should go work, man. Like, seriously. Go do work. Collaborate in this society. And with this house is almost complete, I think it's time to put an end to this episode. So if you enjoy it, please uh, give it a rating. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, this, uh, like I said, is going to be a series of pre-recorded episodes, so don't go crazy if I don't uh, really apply your ideas and suggestions or if I miss something stupid on the screen, because I'm sure I will. Uh, and then there will be a lot of face palms here and there, so just don't worry about it. But uh, yeah, again, uh, thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Have a great one.